Hey, my name is Luke. I'm one of the pastors here at Chapel Point, and God has been moving in some unbelievable ways. And we just want to take a minute to celebrate, look back and say, God, you have worked, you have moved, and you alone are worthy of all of our praise. We've seen God move in the life of our community. We've seen men and women, kids and students give their lives to Jesus, and we can't do anything but give him praise for that. This year, we celebrate over 240 baptisms across all Chapel Point sites, including 79, 79 baptisms at our Lake Baptism. That's 240 people who have encountered the presence of God, and they've chosen to surrender their lives to Him. Not only has God worked through baptisms, He's working in the lives of our students as well. Our middle school students went to fall camp at Spring Hill where they had the opportunities to learn how to live missionally where God has placed them on their school campus. But here's the exciting thing. We know two kids gave their lives to Christ and they're taking next steps to get baptized in the coming months. Our high school students, they went on mission through Go Weekend right here in our community. The students had opportunity to host 11 neighborhood outreach events to serve our community to advance the kingdom in the name of Jesus. And this is what I love. Our students went on their first ever international mission trip to England, and we are seeing the ripple effects even now of how they shared the name of Jesus and lives are continuing to be changed on the ground in England. As our church, we passionately respond to God through worship. This summer, we hosted our Worship on the Lawn community event where 25 people were baptized and hundreds more gathered together to worship Jesus, to lift up His name as we celebrated and we lived in biblical community doing what we were made to do to lift up the name of Jesus together. In 2024, we also celebrated one year of faithful ministry at our Byron Center site. Pastor Andrew Honeycutt and the team there have seen God move. We've seen 50% increase in growth at that campus. We're seeing baptisms. We're seeing kids studying the word and diving into what it means to follow after Jesus. God is on the move in Byron Center, and they are doing an incredible job to reach out to the community. At our Holt site, Pastor Andrew Bolcom and his team saw several individuals taking next steps in their faith through baptism. They're serving, they're sharing their stories of transformation, they are reaching out to the community, and they are on fire to make the name of Jesus known south of Lansing. We also saw God provide through hurricane relief efforts this fall, where we filled three, three semi-trucks full of supplies and raised over $30,000 to send to our partner churches in the affected hurricane areas. God prompted the hearts of several individuals and a team was sent down to Clearwater, Florida to be the hands and feet of Jesus in a time of need. Church, we are called to be on mission and God is moving. Throughout the year, we made some significant progress on the Barnabas Project. Thank you. We cannot say it enough. Thank you for your sacrificial generosity. When you give, the name of Jesus is going further because we're doing this together. We've raised over $1 million in new pledges and 665 families have given in 2024. As we get ready to transition into this new space, we're excited to see how God will continue to use this time and our efforts together to advance His kingdom. Not only did we see God move through the local church, but throughout the year, we've seen God expand His kingdom all across the world. So far, we've had 203 people go on short-term missions to proclaim the name of Jesus from Boston to Detroit, from Brazil to Romania to Uganda. We have teams that are on a mission all over the world. We've even seen 75 people baptized through our partner churches in the Philippines. 75 people declaring that Jesus is Lord in the Philippines, and we know that God's not done there yet. He's going to use them to influence Southeast Asia and the the movement that God wants to do in that region. We give God praise and thanks. In 2024, we also launched the Chapel Point Family of Churches. This is a collection of churches that are partying together to advance the gospel. They're choosing a path of interdependence, not one that says, I've got to do it on my own, but how can we collectively together work and advance the mission in the name of Jesus? As a church, we know we can't accomplish all that God is calling us to do alone. That's why we have to partner with other like-hearted, like-minded ministries, because God has called us to be the church, the body of Christ, to advance the name of Jesus together. So we're grateful that we get to do it with these amazing partners. 
God is calling Chapel Point to impact 1,000 churches, to see 1 million souls encounter Jesus. How is God calling you to be a part of that? I want to invite you to pray. How is God wanting to use your time and your energy, your resources, so that you are actively participating in the kingdom advancement? God wants to use you and your family, and we can't wait to see how God is going to move in and through us in the years to come.